Brothers, welcome to Cosmeteer. This is a game I tried a little bit out on stream and just fell in love with. I'm fully addicted to. It is a spaceship builder fighter game in the veins of FTL and Space Engineer. All games I love. So without further ado, let's jump in. We will be starting a new game. I have learned a lot from my stream, but um, we're going to be starting with combat uh, difficulty with we'll go captain. We'll go ahead and bump this up to architect. Now, one thing I do want to change is the fame ratio. The fame ratio is a gatekeeper for how many crew you have. And it's kind of, in my opinion, a little bit dumb to have the money to buy crew, but not have enough fame to buy crew. So we're going to give that to plentiful and say okay with that. If you hate exploration or salvaging, you can turn this off as well, but I want to keep that. All right, that's the reason I'm bumping this up to architect is I really want to kind of justify getting more fame. So with that, we could go with the Model S again. The Model S is really good. Lasers are super overpowered in this, but I have a different dream. I have a dream of building a Dreadnought, a ship of the line, and that starts with the Model C, the rarely forgotten stepchild. We will start with the Model C, and let's get into it. Alrighty, here's our ship. Here are the corridors. Here's our cannons. This is a fire extinguisher. This is the hatch. So there's two ways to view your ship. This is the internal mode. This is the outside of the mode. I'll paint this in between episodes when we have a kind of more flushed out design, if you will. So let's go ahead and pause this because I don't want to fight anybody right now. Now, one thing we need to change is we need to change the name. Yeah, we can't have the Model C. So if you have a name suggestion, go ahead and put it in the description below. The most upvoted appropriate <laughs> comment will have the name at naming rights. Last time on the stream, we were in with the big floppa and uh, hopefully you guys will be as creative again because that was a really funny name. Okay, so taking a look at the map, we are limited to this one system right now. And this is will be probably for a little bit, but we also have the galaxy mode, which takes us out and look how big this map is. To give you an idea, I did this and then this, and that took me five hours. So this is quite the game. We're gonna be jumping around a bit. I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of the kind of traveling things that slow this game down. But first thing we need to do is, uh, first off, we need more crew. How many crew do we need? To operate this, we need 10 people. So let's go into our design mode, the blueprint mode. And let's get rid of this and get two more bedrooms. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bedrooms. Okay. Let's get mirror on. We'll do that. We'll get some corridors down. And then we'll armor patch this back. Even though in the beginning we probably won't face too many people with this. And we'll go ahead and make that so. And voila. We've got room for more people. Now we just need to get more people. So let's... Hail the station, grab the people. We have 14, which is more than we need. And let's go ahead and start grabbing all of these missions. And we'll start off nice and simple, just attacking some easy bots. And let's go right here to begin with. Away we go. Okay, we appear into our first enemy. There he is. Let's go ahead and charge this boy. Slow down the speed a little bit. We'll get turned for our big cannons to be in front. We're going to do all cannons this round. We might add a rail gun, but we're going to be full kind of cannons and ammo instead of lasers. I'm very excited for this. We will add some shields in, but don't, don't you worry. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. We are dealing with a glint. The glint is actually kind of a harder one to start off with because it has this much armor in the front. It has these disruptors. So we'll go ahead and start targeting the hyperdrive and see what we can do here. Fire the cannons. Almost in range. There's the cannons. The cannons are really inaccurate, but they have piercing damage. So if they hit, they do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we missed both those. Hit, missed. Oh, did a little bit of damage there. You can see the damage they do is tremendous. So we are hitting disables, but we don't really have any electronics. So it's not doing a lot of damage. These disruptors don't do a ton of damage to your armor. So in the early game, you don't need to worry about it. There goes their first engine. We'll just keep peppering them. Keep fighting to get a little bit closer. Yes. Just keep fighting them. Go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Get through this armor panels. And these first couple battles are gonna be a little bit rough until we can add more cannons. There's these other just, now he's completely stuck. So since he has no more disruptors, what we're gonna do is actually hit shift and click to go over to his side. And we're gonna take out the, the cockpit. If you take out the cockpit, the game, uh, the uh, ship immediately blows up, stops working. So we don't need to work about through all this armor. We can just maneuver past him. He's only got like one more panel. There we go. We got the cockpit right away. 
So we'll come over here and gather all of this beautiful juicy loot. We'll go ahead and repair our ship. We did take a little bit of damage there. And go from there. We'll send out the boys. They come in these little spaceships. They do this. Now when we get a mining laser, this will go a little bit quicker as well. But I love the graphics on this. It's so cute how they all run out here with the little laser beams, torches, just kind of taking apart the ship, bringing it back into our ship. We do have a little bit of storage. We're going to need more storage as well. But this will do for right now. And you can see all these little guys jumping around out here that aren't mine. Uh, those are from the other ship and they're just going to wander out here until they die. <laughs> I can't pick them up. I wish you could capture them. That'd be a cool mechanic. But that's the last of the cargo. And we have another target in mind. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, wait. Time out. Stop the ship. We still have somebody out. This little EVA. You can totally leave your people behind. I've done that many a times. So let's wait for this guy to get back. He's right there. Here he comes. Okay, he's in the ship. Let's go capture this guy. Let's go get him. Now, we do need to keep an eye on our ammo. You can see the ammo right here. So we need to make sure that that is fully loaded every time before we go into battle. If you run out of ammo, you are SOL. And it's going to be really hard to run away. So we'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to catch this guy. We're not that fast for the time being, but uh, turning does slow you down a little bit. So if we can get him in a straight line, we might be able to catch him. Nope, he, he's going to be too fast. So let's go to this question mark and see what's there. Okay, so this is a storage pod. Oh, this is super great to find in the beginning. Let's grab all of this. This is a salvageable. We'll see what's inside the storage unit. It's going to be some valuable, valuable goodies. We have the room to take it. So let's go ahead and grab it all and see what's inside. It is... is a little bit of uranium, that's great. And a little bit of tritanium, that's also really good. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our spaceship builder and we need more storage. So for right now, we're just gonna add this block right here. And that should be plenty of storage for the time being. And we'll go ahead and armor up behind again. Now with armor, you wanna do layers. And the basic to this is that if you just have this kind of design right here, they'll be able to shoot through it a lot quicker. Whereas if you take that away and do layers, they have to go through more blocks to get through it. So that's something to keep in mind for the game, but this will be fine for right now. We do not have enough scrap to make that happen. So let's go ahead, take away. Let's go ahead and take away the armor and see if we're there. Yeah, so that storage was just too big. Can we do this? No, we still don't have enough of that. So let's just do a single one, take off the mirror. Oh, we don't have enough steel for that. Okay, well, we'll come back to this. So we'll need to mark it on the map right here. We'll just put wreck so we know where that is. If you don't mark it like this, it can be really hard to find in the late game. But let's go back, turn in our goodies, and collect our reward. Oh, goodness. These are all the people I left behind. Remember how I told you you can leave people behind? I did it. That's on me. Fortunately, they're still alive. Okay, so we'll turn in this guy. We'll see what we have to sell. Uh, we don't really want to sell too much of this. We could sell you enriched that, but honestly, I feel like just getting another storage will be useful. Now, when you're at the station, if you don't have the required goods to make this happen, you can buy them at the station. It'll automatically do it here, so let's go ahead and do that. We're loaded up again. We have enough ammo for another fight. I'm going to go collect those goodies real quick. All right, we just got done collecting the goodies. We ran into a boy right away. So let's see what we're dealing with here. This is a horsefly. Horsefly is really easy because the cockpit's right in front. So let's go ahead and start aiming at that and take that out. Give me some good shots. Now this guy is firing lasers, so he's going to do more damage than the other ship did. But we're almost through the armor as soon as we're through the armor. But look at the piercing damage that the cannons do. Oh, it's so satisfying. Yes! Now if only we could hit our targets, that'd be so much better. Oh, we took out one of his weapons. That's really good. So now he's going to have a harder time fighting us. Now we're at the cockpit. Only a couple more shots. One more will do it. There we go. All right, let's grab all of this. All right, we cleaned up one of the guys. And uh, we're chasing after this guy. Another ship came in and destroyed him, which is perfect for us because that means we get free loot. So let's grab all this stuff really quickly, see what we can take. This is going to be another situation where we don't have enough. So we'll mark this as a wreck. And be sure to take off the other icon that we have so we don't go back there. And let's see what is here. This is mostly plates. That's good to know. Let's see if we can upgrade. Let's see if we can add another storage. Yes, we can. Okay, good. So now we can grab it all. That's going to be really helpful. The ship will be redesigned a lot. So let's go right here. Oh, I despawned. 
Okay. Oh, no, we used the stuff from the space to build the second thing. That's another thing that you can do. So let's go ahead and click off this and go back to the station. Grab some more ammo, and then we'll be on for the next fight. Okay, we are back at the station. One thing I want to do is, since the cannons are all up here, I want to designate these as all pure cannons. So I don't want anything stored in here that's not a, uh, ammo. So we'll go ahead and hail the station. Let's buy some more ammo. Let's go ahead and get this one as well. We'll get the exploration as well. That just gives you free points for exploring the question marks. So that'll be really helpful. Let's buy some more cannons. Cannon ammo is cheap, so that is good for us. And let's see if we can buy a blueprint. No, actually, let's buy... Let's see what it costs to add another cannon to the front. I feel like that is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So a cannon we can afford. We just need a corridor. So what we're going to do is add another tiny thing right here. That's going to be good. We'll go back into our inventory and click this. Make sure that that's all ammo. And go from there. So let's see. Let's load up. We'll have people, and let's see how our space is. We have suggested 13, we have 14 people to run the ship. We have plenty of energy, but energy is, uh, we have plenty of energy. This bar says where you need to be, this is where you're at. This bar is actually kind of broken right now. It says ammo zero. As you can see, we have plenty of ammo. So we are fine on that front. We are ready to go take on our next adventure, which will be this guy over here. I'll see you there. All right, before we could get to our mark, we found another guy. These roaming pirates will eventually be a reward, so getting them out early will be really helpful for us. Now, one thing about this game is if you fight a battle, if you do kind of a quest before you get the quest, you still get the rewards from the quest, which is really good. So we'll go ahead and take out this guy. We've already taken out most of his engines, or a good block of his engines. We're really hitting from the sides. We take out one of his, his disruptor, which is really good. Now, his laser is still firing at us, but we're not really concerned with that right now. We'll just keep punching through. They'll eventually take out this laser regardless, and then he's just going to be stuck. But as you can see, he's uh, in a rough spot right now. So let's uh, move over a little bit. Target his cockpit. Get out of the way of his laser. Oh, no problem there. So we take him out. We'll grab all of his delicious, delicious goodies. We'll keep an eye out on these guys. How far are they? This guy is coming towards us. So what we need to do is bring everybody back in. They need time to kind of reset prior to a battle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Turn the ship around. Mark this location as a wreck. In case we end up in a battle far away. Repair the ship. Okay, get ready for the battle. Here he comes. Let's see what we're dealing with. This is a toothpick. Okay, toothpick's a little bit harder. Unless you can get around back to the reactor. So first thing we're going to want to do is take out his cannon. If we can take out his cannon, then he can't do anything. He's only got one weapon. So we'll go ahead and start pushing into him. There's the first cannon volley. Miss. Miss. Hit! Yes! Great. Okay. Doing a little bit of damage there. The cannon's pretty tanky, it's, but it's going to do a little bit of damage to us. So, because we can't really push through all of his armor, and we can't turn because he still has his engines, he's going to have a harder time turning, but he still will be able to turn. Let's just focus on the engine. Well, let's see if we can uh, do this maneuver, actually. Since he's got this cannon on this side, let's see if we can move around behind him. Let's see what our mobility looks like. Compared to his. He's only got the two engines left. We'll see how much he can turn. If we can get around this corner, he won't be able to shoot at us. But you can see his maneuverability is still quite decent. So let's uh, focus on taking out this. If we can take out his second engine. If we can take out this one engine, which only needs one more shot. Then he won't be able to turn. But we are outmaneuvering him. His cannon's not able to hit us. So we just need one more shot in here. Come on. Oh, that went straight through. That was a nice little cleave. Give me one shot! One shot! Oh, that, that looked good. There we go. Okay, now he's not going to be able to turn. So let's get behind him. And take out his cockpit. Yeah, so you see he's just drifting right now. So this is going to be quick work for us as soon as we're able to get around. He's just drifting in a circle because that's the momentum that he was carrying with. Oh, but we get his reactor right away. So that worked out great. Repair the ship. Go over here, collect our rewards. Oh, time out! Everybody back in! We're facing... We got an opponent. Okay, we don't... We need to not move the ship right now, so let's just turn it around. Give our top, Give our two people time to get back in the ship. It's really hard for them to get back in when you're moving. Okay, we are firing right away. He's firing at us. He's got four uh, point defense, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge for us. Um, this is quite a challenging design, so let's just take out his weapons right now. 
These fire really fast, but they do not do a lot of damage, but they do disrupt our cannons. They can fire and block our cannons, so taking them out early will be helpful, but as you can see, we're not doing a ton of damage because he's able to knock them off for the most part, but him firing at our cannons means he's not firing at us, so that is also helpful, so let's just keep pushing through. We got almost one of them down. We got this big armor block out of the way. That's helpful. Just keep firing. Let's go up to half speed. This is going to be a slog. But he only has the one engine, so we might be able to outmaneuver him. So let's try that. Go for his reactor. Oh, he's not moving. Did we get him? What happened? Oh, is this a wreck? What happened? Uh, I don't know. I guess all his crew died? But yeah, we defeated him. I'm not exactly sure how, but you can see his crew. Oh no, little buddy. <laughs> little buddy, no, not like this. <laughs> oh, that's terrible for them. Great for us. So let's go ahead and collect all of the goodies. Now this is really good for us to be able to collect these ship parts intact. You get more resources from them, like uranium, the hyperdrive material. That worked out really nicely for us. Let's see what's in the storage container. Hopefully more ammo, although he doesn't use, he didn't use cannons, so he's not gonna have ammo. Nothing. Nothing was in there. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Wait for all of our boys to get back in. All the boys are back in. Let's go back up to this custom wreck. Or to this wreck marker. Grab what, all the goodies in here. Okay, so we got everything from this marker. So we just need to left click or right click that to get it off. We need to go back and get more ammo. That really exhausted our ammo doing those three fights in a row. So while we're here, we're going to do some redesigns of the ship. But let's go ahead and first off collect our bounty. So... Can we hire more people? We could, but that's a lot of money and I'd rather spend that in some blueprints. So let's go ahead, get the blueprint for the mining laser. That's gonna be really helpful for us. So let's get this. That cost a lot of money. So we'll be able to build that in a little bit. Let's see what it costs to build. So that is, a, that's a weapons. Nope, where is that? This is the fun part of the game is finding out where everything is. Here? Yeah, mining laser. Okay, we have the work to do this, so let's go ahead, grab this cannon out the way. Actually, we'll keep that cannon there. We'll add the mining laser here. We can do that for the exact amount of gold that we have. This is going to be very unprotected for the time being, so we will do it. And just hope we don't get attacked over here. Can we afford one small armor? No. Can we do one small armor? No, we need 400 to make that happen. So this is a dangerous game we're playing. But I feel confident enough in our ship to be able to get this done. So let's go ahead and move back over, start continuing our pirate hunts. Oh, ammo! Oh no. We don't have any money for ammo. So we're gonna need to sell stuff to get ammo. So let's grab... We're gonna need 400. Let's sell... I hate to do it. Let's sell our diamonds. We don't need them right now. Trade in progress. So the guys will come out, take all your stuff, which they did, they'll give you money for it. And now let's go ahead and add that piece of armor in there. Just so this thing doesn't get obliterated. Okay. This ship is looking be more beautiful and more beautiful by the day. Where's our ammo? Oh, we need, let's buy more ammo in fact. This is not enough. How much for all your ammo? Hunt a thousand? Let's do it. Give me all your ammo. Here comes all the guys to load up our ship. Now we got plenty of ammo. We'll be able to take on a number of these guys. We'll be able to take apart the ships faster with that mining laser. Now eventually we'll be able to build our own ammo, which is something we're going to want to do. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and just keep going with this. You need to build the workshop in order to get the ammo. So we'll go over to our next targets, see what he has. We'll either be fighting, uh, we'll be fighting the bottom feeder, which is a good one to fight. We already fought one already, so this should be a pretty easy battle. Just wait for the boy to appear. There. Oh, that's not him. There he is. Okay. Slow it down. Target him. Go, go, go. We're on a collision course with Destiny, boys. Here he comes. And what is... Bottom feeder. Let's look at him. So we fought this one already. We know his kind of defense. So let's take out the laser. Let's take out the laser first. Miss. Oh, that flak defense is doing a lot of damage. But if we can get through the laser, we'll do fine. The mining laser actually is able to be in combat too, so that's another added benefit of it. So we take out that. Let's take out the flak defense. 
And as soon as we're done with that, we'll be able to just kind of push through his core. Oh no, there goes a boy. Goodbye, friend. There's another guy. Okay, we got the other point defense. Now it's just the reactor. <laughs> just trying to get a single shot. There we go. And we're fame level increased. So that's really good. That'll allow us to get more people. Let's go and repair. You always want to repair in space prior to going back because you can pick up all this stuff really quickly prior to... You can use the stuff in space rather than having to buy it and having to store it. So you see the mining laser doing work, taking apart the ship. We'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit, get all of our boys out there. Now we're going to have less people out there because a lot of them need to feed the laser. So we might actually move the laser down here. That is a good move. It doesn't need to have this direct front here. So let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and change this up. So let's move this out the way. Let's move this. Do I want to be right here? It kind of ruins the corridor. So let's actually do a lot of redesigns. So let's move this down one. This to the corner. There we go. Now we got a more easy to access corridor. And we need one place for the fire extinguisher. So we'll put it right there. And take away this. So this is a valid blueprint. It's very cheap for us to do. And in fact, let's get rid of a lot of this. We don't need this stuff anymore. We'll go ahead and armor plate up a little bit. To kind of match what we had. And that should do nicely. Now one thing I do want to do is just make these a solid block. I don't want to deal with any of this getting destroyed, so let's go ahead and do that. It's really cheap for us to do. There we go. So we got a nice corridor. We could make this a solid corridor going up. In fact, let's try that out. Let's explore. Let's explore. We got some time. No, that really doesn't make a difference. Okay. So let's just discard our changes. There we go. Okay, ship's looking good. I think we can take on more because we did that stuff. No, we cannot. We are full. So we really need to sell that Tritanium. That's not doing us any good. It's just taking up a storage bay option for the time being. Uh, how much do we have? How much goods do we have? Do we have enough to do something like that? We do. Do we have enough to add another layer of storage? We do not. Okay, let's try mirroring that. Taking off the mirror. Do we have enough for one more? No. No. Okay. So, we will go ahead and make that change and see if we can grab any more of this stuff. Nope. Okay, so we'll mark this as a wreck and come back to it. Let's go collect our... Oh, let's go at this question mark real quick. Let's see what this is. We've got plenty of ammo in case it's a hostile. And we're moving about 54 meters per second, so we're moving still pretty fast. We did lose a little bit of speed. We were topping off around 60. Uh, before, before we made all these changes, but I like having the double corridor in the middle, especially when we get the walkways. It really helps out move, help people move a lot faster. And this is a bottom feeder. Oh, so this is a ship we can take over. So what I'm going to do is actually transfer a crewmate to the bottom feeder. We just need one to get them done. And go ahead and do that. Wait, time out. We didn't transfer anybody. Transfer crew. Nope, the, the bottom feeder's got one. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's wait for this. Can this thing move? No, it needs to be repaired. What does it need to be repaired? 78. Uh, let's try manually repairing this and this. I think it can move now. No, we need to repair the engines, obviously. Okay. We got one engine. Can you move? Can you move? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we will come back to this. We'll mark this on the ship. Uh, ship. We'll come back with some more steel, but for right now, let's just go ahead and transfer the people back to our ship. Get it back on there. We'll just, this won't get taken or anything like that, but we'll just remember it's here and come back for it. We'll have a second ship here in no time. Okay. Let's repair our ship. We do not have an... Oh, that's not the right ship. Okay, well, our ship's repaired. Let's go back. And get the bounty. And do some more upgrades. All right, we're back at the station. Let's collect our bounty. Let's sell that Triterium. 
This is gonna be something that we'll need later on. It's not gonna help us. Same thing with the uranium. We can't do anything with it, so let's grab that off the ship. Here comes the boys. They got it. Okay, we got about 5,000. So let's buy another blueprint. I wanna see what the shield looks like. How much does the shield cost? Small shield generator's actually pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and get that and play around to see how much that's gonna cost. So we'll pause it, we'll go into blueprint. And what I would like to do is get two more cannons, get this out the way and add that shield laser in. Now we need 5,000 for that because we don't have the steel. So we will just kind of save that for the time being and we'll come back. We don't really need the shield now. It's just a nice thing to have. So let's take a look at our storage. What are we looking at? Uh, we have a little bit of room. We want to keep the processors. We want to keep everything involved. We just have too much ammo at the time being. So let's go spend it by taking out some pirates. And away we go. Yes! Oh, big explosions. <laughs> Bodies flying. Oh, so terrible. Okay. Now, we actually blew up the ammo because we went through the... We went through the storage, so we'll have to keep that in mind for future use, but right now, it's kind of good for us. We don't need any more ammo, so just getting the steel plates is going to be good for us. We're pretty close to being able to do our upgrade, so let's repair. And how much does it cost to do this? 96, we got 90. We need, uh, we have 44 coils. We need 51. Okay, we're very close. Let's see if we can grab more of this. No, we cannot. Oh, so close. Okay, so what I'm going to do, mark this as a wreck, come back for this. And where's this guy at? I think we can catch him. Let's try and cut him off the pass. Okay, this is a toothpick. We fought the toothpick before. We'll take out the cannon. All right, we'll take this all apart. We'll see what we if we can do our upgrades. We're very close to it. So I think taking it apart, we'll be able to use this stuff in space to build everything. We gotta take it apart first. This, there's a lot of armor here, so there'll be a lot of steel plates. We were able to keep the core intact, so we do get some of the hyper, hyperdrive material, which we'll need for later on. We do have enough. Make it so. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same thing in the front with the ammo. And I think two will be fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Give everybody time to grab all the stuff and move the ammo from the back here. We'll move that up here in the front. That'll be helpful for us. Okay. And is there any more of this? Yes, we can grab all of this. Wonderful. Great little adventure. And we'll go back to this wreck now that we have all of our space. And we got this shield thing right in front. So you can see the blue the blue kind of shield wall. That protects everything there. It does can't get put offline by a disruptor. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Let's see where this stuff is. Grab the rest of this. Every little bit counts. And let's see if we can actually add some armor in front of this. This is going to be quite a, uh, yeah, we do get some armor in front of that. You can put armor in front of the shields, highly recommended. And let's go back and see what we, we need for more crew to make this a little bit more operational. Get these two bounties out the way. Ooh, I don't really want to fight you right now. Okay, good. He, he ignores us, so let's continue on our way. He's looking for his buddy. His buddy is gone, hate to tell you. We're moving at 51. Oh, that is... Okay, yeah, yeah. These asteroids always have two people in, so I want to make sure I'm at full staff prior to engaging. But we're, we're fine. We're out of range of all of them, so we're good to go. Let's get more crew. Let's get more... Let's see what we need for crew. Crew, we need, a, we need 25. All right, we have our crew. We have redesigned the ship slightly to accommodate them, and we're ready to rumble. We're also going to need to buy more ammo when the time comes. What is this? That's enriched uranium. We're going to keep that. We're going to want to keep all of this. So we shall take on our first big battle, multi-person battle. We're going to go straight into a two-person battle. Now, this is not armored in the back, so that's going to be really hazardous for us if they destroy that. There's our target. Slow down the speed. What are we fighting? There's both of them. Let's try and fight one at a time. This is the platforms. Okay, so these are platforms, which means they're not going to move. There's going to be one ship that does move. No, no, no. These are all four platforms. So this is actually kind of a heavy battle to fight right away. Let's just fire in. 
There goes the first volley with our four cannons. They all get destroyed, but they'll eventually start getting through. Fire at the cockpit if he wants to give me his cockpit right away. Now, these defense platforms will turn, so taking out their defenses won't, or their offensive matters won't matter as much because they can just turn away. If you take out one, they'll just turn, and so you have to fight the other one. But because these are all stationary, we don't need to worry about being attacked by anybody. We will just collect all these resources and repair our ship. We took basically zero damage there. All right, that's all four. Let's grab the loot and head on home. Oh, we are getting attacked. Oh, goodness. Everybody back in. Turn the ship, turn the ship, turn the ship. Get the shields up front. Oh, huge, huge, huge disaster. No fires, no fires. If you get a fire on your ship, it's super bad. So everybody get back in. And as soon as everybody's ready, we need to fight this guy. Oh, we sell people EVA. Just stop right there for the time being. We're gonna take a lot of damage out of this, but we need to get everybody back in. We sent almost everybody out to do this. So they're running back to their stations. They understand the, the depths of this huge mistake of going on fast speed while salvaging. It's a huge issue. We're almost out of ammo too. So we only have a couple cannons firing. We just need, but we do have the mining laser, which will not run out of ammo. So we just need to keep firing that. Yeah, we only have two cannons operational right now. Oh, that was close. Okay, so let's follow our line. We're somewhere over here for the for the wreck. Let's let's uh let's grab this one. Okay. Oh, that was almost a disaster. Okay, we're out of combat. Let's we'll see what the damage was. Pretty hefty damage there. We didn't lose anybody though, so that's good. We got that going for us. We just need this one more bit of scrap, and let's go try and find. Yeah, this is where we left off. These buddies are still floating around. Alrighty, we'll just head back to the station, collect our due rewards, see what we get from defeating all four of those platforms. That was a level two mission, so that was actually a little bit more challenging than what we have been doing. Definitely a bit of a challenge. Fortunately, they were spaced out. When you face multiple ships at the same time, it's a different story. So we'll hail, we'll collect. There we are, 30 people that took all of our money. We forgot about ammo. So let's sell some stuff. Let's see what we have to sell. We have uranium, but we want to keep that. Uh, I think we're gonna we can afford to get rid of some of these hyper coils for the time being. Let's just get rid of. That'll do, and then we'll take all of your missiles. Okay, load us up, Captain. Okay, but that is gonna wrap things up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will continue on this tomorrow. Again, if you have a name for the ship, let me know. Do keep in mind that the ship is going to change frequently. So, but let me know what you guys have in mind. I'm going to go ahead and paint the ship and I'll see you guys in the next one.